So guys, continue with our formula dollar figures in different times. In this video, we're going to do this learning activity and we have to compare in this learning activity the cost of education, tuition and fee uh, of education in colleges in the United States. So what do we have on this graph? We have the cost of education for three different um, you know, schools in uh, 1990. And we also have the uh, tuition and fees for the same schools for year 2015. So in order for us to understand who is paying more for tuition and fees for colleges, students in 1990 or students in 2015, we will take this 1990 amount and we'll transfer it in 2015 dollars based on these two CPIs that are given to us. And then when we, then we're going to compare that amount that we transfer to this amount that students are paying today. So let's see how it works. So on this graph, I already wrote down the formulas. So the formula over here, remember this is amount in today's dollars equal amount in year T and then we multiply it by this ratio, CPI today over the CPI in year T. So amount in year T, remember, this is some kind of amount in the past. This is given to us over here. And then we do have two CPIs. This is CPI in year T and this is CPI today. And then we're going to compare, you know, the amount that we calculated to these numbers. And we'll see who is paying more for education. So let's continue over here. Private nonprofit. So we start with private nonprofit. We have the formula. I'm going to write everything here underneath. Amount in year T was 93.40 for private nonprofit in year 1990. So we have 9,340 multiply by this ratio. CPI today, CPI today was 237.7, 237.7 divided by CPI in year T. This is 130.7. And if we're going to calculate this, we get exactly 16,986. 986. So let's just think about again. What did we do? What did we do? We took the value of tuition in 1990 and based on the two CPIs that, that are real numbers, you can look it up in the Bureau of Labor, Labor Statistics website. So based on these two CPIs, we transferred this amount, we transferred this amount into $2,015. And this is equal to 16,986. So if we take into consideration inflation over the course of these two years, uh, I mean, not two years, over the course of these, um, you know, years that is given to us over here, or two range of years, then student in 2015 should have paid 16,986 for private nonprofit four year college. But how much students in those colleges paying for education? Actually, 32,405. So who is paying more for education, students in 1990 or students in 2015? And the answer is students in year 2015. So because if we transfer this amount in 2015 dollars, we're only going to get 16,986. But what we were paying in reality in 2015 in this private college or in private colleges, it's actually 32,405. So let's continue with next. So next is um, public four-year college. Again, we're going to transfer this tuition in 1990 into 2015 amount. So amount in year T was 1,908. Remember, we're going to multiply by the same ratio, 237.7 that was given to us, divided by 130.7. And if you're going to calculate it, it's going to be exactly 34.70, so $3,470. So we kind of assume 
based on these two CPIs that happened over the range of these years, we only have to pay for education in the public four year 3470. In reality, how much are we paying? We're actually paying at about 9410. Guys, remember, these are all average numbers. Each college, you know, still have different tuition. These are all average numbers. But once again, who is paying more for education? Students in public four-year college now or students in 1990? And students in public college now or this year 2015, they're paying for education way more than students were paying in 1990. And the last one, public two year. So the amount in year T was 906. We're taking it, we're taking it from over here. So we're going to transfer it into the value of $2,015. So 906 multiply the same ratio, 237.7 divided by 130. And if you're going to calculate it, it's going to be equals to 1648 so we a kind of thing that well if the price of education stayed the same then we should have paid in year 2015 this amount for tuition in two-year college but what we were paying in reality 3400 $3,435. So who is paying for education more? Students in year 2015. So this is the analysis. This is how you interpret the numbers. Guys, a lot of times I'm, I'm usually getting this question. So like, I don't understand if the inflation happened, you know, in the country over the course of these, what, 25 years, then why are we still, you know, the prices in the economy has adjust based on these two CPIs. Why are we still paying for education in 2015 such a big amount of money? And remember, when we're talking about increasing prices, prices increasing in our economy, not only based on the consumer price index, prices of the goods and services also can increase based on demand, isn't it? So demand for colleges over the course of these years has actually increased. There are more and more students wants to go and get education. So therefore, the price of college tuition is going to increase based on the supply and demand. Also, just think about it. Just, just talk to your parents and ask them what kind of services did they have in universities and colleges many years ago. I remember I talked to somebody recently and they said many years ago they even couldn't take classes online. Somebody was telling me the story that, um, you know, they were almost like received double major. They were one class short of graduating with a double major. And I was like, well, but they were graduating and they had job lined up and stuff like that. And I was like, well, did you take that class online? And like, you got your double major diploma. And that person like, look at me. It was like, he, he's an old dude. He's like, uh, no, I didn't take classes online because the classes online were even not offered many years ago. So just think about it. the services in universities has changed. We, we offer online classes, we offer smart classrooms, all the internet, all the, you know, computer labs and stuff like that. So all this, you know, beauty of our colleges, it requires money to maintain it, isn't it? So therefore, what is going to happen with tuition? The tuition is going to increase, not only based on these two CPIs, but based on the services that we provide. Just think about how many clubs right now you have in, in universities. So many of them. We need to support those, those clubs. We need to have some kind of fundings. And when we do that, what are we going to do? We're going to increase the tuition. Just think about, again, ECU, really quick. Just think about the beautiful student center that we built it. I mean, it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It will accept or attract more students because we have this beautiful facility. But remember, it wasn't free. We have to pay for it. Where is it going to reflect it? It's going to be reflected in the tuition that students are paying for their education. So uh, make sure you know this formula amount in um, different um in different times amount dollar amount in different times you need to know how to apply it you need to know how to um use it look at um example that is given in the book and i hope you know more about um, dollar amount in different times after this video